the introduction to open intelligence is what you hear here. And then, in addition to that, the tools to make it obvious in our own life. And um, that's what we share here. And open intelligence, well, first of all, we are powerful creatures, wow. powerful human beings. And our mind is vast like the sky. And our mind is entirely beneficial. And it's not only between ears, the mind. <laughs> it's vast like sky, opening intelligence. It's, it's inseparable from everything. It's, it's, it's vast. <laughs> it's powerful and it's beneficial. And you can look, you sitting in these chairs, like you and me and Mba and everybody, is powerful, has, has the, that power, opening intelligence. So we don't have to get it. You're not getting a package of open intelligence now. You're recognizing and confirming open intelligence right now in your own direct experience. So there's nothing to get. Yet, we, we have emphasized and we have focused our life on all our thoughts, emotions, and experiences, and we call that data. So that it went totally unnoticed that we have that vast power, that opening intelligence within us, as us, and r ready to, to go. <laughs> you know, it's right there for, for use, to use to be of benefit to all. And to get to know that in my experience was incredible because a life of making myself small or limited by all these descriptions like these thoughts, emotions and experiences. Just one example could be, oh, I'm depressed, I'm not good enough, I can't do this. So these are just some little examples of data naming. <laughs> we could have a whole list, but we don't have time. So, so you can see all these data, all these thoughts and emotions and experiences, what are, what are they? So we're getting to know the true nature of all these thoughts and emotions and experiences. So we're not sitting here trying to get rid of that. Although you hear every morning, which is powerful, stop thinking what remains. And that is a powerful introduction to opening intelligence because you see that there's something about you that's always present, right there, an alertness, power to know. And it is inseparable from all thoughts, and emotions, and experiences. It's inseparable like the color blue and the sky. And that is a, that's a powerful insight to see that we are not coming here trying to get rid of anything. We are introduced to something about us that is always present, that can't be taken away or we can't get it. But we are confirming it and acknowledging it after a life of emphasizing all these thoughts and emotions and just seeing that, just seeing these data and the descriptions, we ignored the ultimate definition of all data being opening intelligence. And that's what we are recognizing instinctively, just by hearing these talks, by getting to know the four mainstays that evoke that instinctive recognition in our own experience, and so that we can press a uh, practice, test, as well as practice and test, <laughs> practice and test that in our daily life. With children, while we're cooking, while we're talking, while we are washing up, while we are sick, or whatever is going on, all these thoughts, emotions, and experiences are all inseparable from opening intelligence. And when you take the instruction, of short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous, then you recognize that that is true in your own experience, that there's something about you that's always there, stable, alert, unaffected, but doesn't look a certain way. So we have then our ideas, so that's the next good topic. So once introduced to open intelligence, now we come to that topic I was waiting to get there because I can share a little bit about that. So we think our oh, opening intelligence yeah, is such a great uh, thing. So now everything is amazing and it is actually, but <laughs> <laughs> it is like that. But first we think everything has to be just positive states or bliss or no thought. And when something negative comes in, uh, 
where's that open intelligence gone? Well, we're looking for it. <coughs> and um, so th that's the power where the four mainstays support and confirm and, 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 and are available to empower you exactly then to see when all these negative states come up and we talked about jealousy and hatred and and what else do we have um, feeling sick or bored or just 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 uncomfortable you know like all these things of annoyed mm -hmm. <laughs> it's also a good one right <laughs> so all these things and letting the, and 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 then that's now now it's now it's up to you now, now it's your choice do I go with all these descriptions? And yes, then we just recognize and just, just see the data and the descriptions. But now not to get rid of all these data because they are powerful benefit. So you would get rid of powerful beneficial energy. It's inseparable from opening intelligence. There's no opening intelligence alone and somewhere sitting there free of all these data. It's inseparable. And don't think about that. So when I came, I tried to think about it, but that's too much. So just come back a couple <laughs> of times, and that will become obvious in your experience that everything that comes up in your daily life, and daily life is perfect for that because we have so much going on in daily life when we have kids, also when we don't have kids and we have partner, no partner. Everything is a perfect opportunity to recognize opening intelligence as the basis of everything and we confirm that along the way and the four mainstays empower that so if short moment seems like i can't get my head around that you shouldn't <laughs> your mind is so vast <laughs> um, then then you you use all the other mainstays coming to the trainings and asking questions there or just listening really just listening and, and reading the text, powerful text that evoke opening intelligence because it's your birthright. It's who you are. That's why it can't, it, it's not complicated. It's there. We just have overlooked it over all these years. And just, just all these methods of trying to be happy, to feel good. Or I also did these methods of trying to have no thoughts or just focusing on certain sensations and and then and, and meditating at least um, three times a day and then sometimes 10 hours a day. <laughs> and then afterwards, you, you go out, you, I did that in India, and I go out and then somebody wants 50 rupees more for something. <laughs> and then I got really angry, like after 10 days of thinking, oh, now I got it and everything is now nice and, and, and pristine and then come all this anger and then you just overwhelmed and think, oh my God, what did you just do? Blurted because of one dollar, basically. <laughs> you know, like you have to just, uh, and, and so then I thought something's missing. <laughs> yeah, something's missing. How can, how, and then I came to these meetings. I came to this open meeting and heard what is immediately beneficial and that it wasn't something I need to get or I have to wear or I have to do. But other than recognizing it in my own direct experience and testing it out, so that's up to me to test it out and to see, oh, Bounce Your Training offers a support network and system that empowers only that. And you heard about the Four Mainstays, that, that short moments is everywhere. So when, you, when you're at home with, 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 with your daily life <laughs> and you do things, things you like to do and things you don't like to do, all day long it's like that, right? Some things we like, some we don't. <laughs> and then we have the short moments and we can test it right there. That's very powerful. And then we come to trainings. That's the second mainstay. And I'm just listing it because it's powerful to hear. What, what, how can I get to know open intelligence in myself? And so the four mainstays is the tools to do so. And I'm sharing my experience of just immersing myself into that, like also in my share there. We just jump in and test it out like a good scientist. And then the trainer supports exactly that, complete empowerment, doesn't see you as, oh, you can't do it, it's not for you and it's like that. No, you're powerful and it's our birthright. And so we can confirm that in our experience. And then, then the community, by coming here, 
seeing people relying on opening intelligence, you know it's also for you. And, and you also see that something is very attractive being here and seeing people being of immediate benefit. And we had these nice examples today. We had a bit of a tech situations and um, you, you could make a whole story out of it, but no way. Why? I mean, what is of immediate benefit? Everybody just does wh whoever is responsible responds. And, um, and then we, we found a solution because it didn't continue on. Okay, that's f for today. Then we start earlier. I mean, I'm making a very simple example here. <laughs> that's very natural to us, but it shows like we don't have to, everything flows on by all the thoughts. Oh, why did I do this? Why? And what should we do? And, and this is powerful benefit. We just focus on what would serve. Now this meeting where we are 100 people, we want to talk about open intelligence, hear about open intelligence and everything turns around into powerful benefit. And that every situation on earth can be like that. In yourself and everywhere where we are. Not focusing on the problems. We step up to see that we are powerful people, powerful human beings that have the power to be of immediate benefit and have all the knowledge of the universe to respond and to, to solution, to create solutions that are for the benefit of all. That's incredible to hear. And then you know that's you. You know, you, you have to know that it's you. We don't have time anymore to think, oh, it's not me, it's them, and then and I'm not good enough. Everyone is more than good enough, like <laughs> exalted, powerful, to be of amazing benefit. And you test that out here because sometimes it seems like a big mountain. But you test it in a, exactly that short moment where it is immediately beneficial because you're not going down emphasizing definitions that just limit you and other people into a certain kind of descriptions. And it could be good descriptions, but that's even not good enough. You know, like just being happy or yeah, having just positive thoughts. And I test that out in my experience as well. Just having positive thoughts, it's, it's li even that is limiting. Because what do you do when you wake up in the morning and have a negative thought? You think something's wrong. But with opening intelligence, everything is, everything is an opportunity. So there, there, there's nothing wrong. Everything is the opportunity for immediate benefit. You see what an empowered perspective that is? For me, my life completely changed from being limited, from thinking I, I can't do anything in my life that has a great effect and being sad about the, li uh, about the world, being in a situation like that, to change to, so it was a long sentence, change to seeing that what I and what people are capable of to make a difference in the world that is of benefit to all. And to know that that's immediately available by tapping into our natural resource, to our power, to be of benefit. And to train that up. And that's why the Balance You training is there. Exactly that's the purpose. To empower e every single human being to be of immediate benefit instead of disempowerment and going down that road of violence and making ourselves small goes into powerful benefit and that's our choice and that's the introduction and every day we come here today is my last day and I'll miss everyone and it, it was such an, such an amazing, amazing um, season and it, it, it's continuing on and, and um, every day I come here I love listening to everyone's share and just seeing everyone, how powerful we are, it just confirms, wow, it's just the, the best life ever living like that, the life of benefit. And, and you know, even if that, when it's now your first open meeting, you say, okay, well, how? Then just come back. So that, you know, I said it's exactly the same in my first open meeting.
<laughs> that was in India and Rishikesh. They're going to Rishikesh now too. We're, we're going to with the balance view training there too. And in India, Rishikesh, walking into that first open meeting, there were just a few people and not, not knowing what was said, but knowing, okay, I want to know that. And then coming back and then testing it out.